Happy Friday, everyone. I'm Tina Jennings. Now we are kicking the show off with some exciting news for Wheel of Fortune fans. Alex Steiniger is outside the studio with the details. Good morning, Alex. Hey, good morning, Tina. Yep, I'm right outside here of the K-Gun Studios. And take a look at what's behind me here. It is the Wheelmobile. It has made it into Tucson, and it's ready to find the next contestant for Wheel of Fortune. And people who have been fans of the show for years are now going to have their opportunity to show their stuff and really try to impress these folks who are with me right now. These are the mobile Pat and Vanna, if you will, of the Wheel of Fortune. Uh, Marty Lublin and Mallory Harden. Guys, thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks for having us. Thanks for having us. Hello, Tucson and surrounding areas. Yeah. Yes, exactly. So tell us, how did you guys each get involved with this Wheel of Fortune Wheelmobile? Uh, it's been a dream to be a part of this. I sent in a tape and I went through an audition process, much like a contestant goes through. They grilled me, they made sure I had all the right qualities, and boom, been the host ever since. And here you are. And how about you, Mallory? When did you get involved? Similar process, but I've only been involved for like a year and it has been the best year. It's just really exciting to get to interact with all the Wheel of Fortune fans. It's electric each and every time. It is. That's a perfect word to describe it. It is electric. There's yeah. so much energy in the air when you go out there and people are just thrilled to be there and sort of show what they have so speaking of that Marty if someone really wants to impress you guys what do they have to do you know show off your personality we travel around all of America looking for the best players it is America's game so when you're on that stage show your personality tell your story if you have a talent show off your talent if you have something interesting about you tell us something interesting about you really make yourself stand out I get to spend more time with contestants than Pat does so I grill them I let them show shine on stage and then when you're playing the game call out logical letters don't go for the x right away don't go for the z make sure you speak in a loud clear voice have a lot of fun smile clap we are a game show you're not on your couch you're on stage in front of a lot of people you get past us you're going to be on tv in front of millions for your shot at one million dollars how exciting is that it's your opportunity you have to be on like he said you have to show up and really give it your all mallory what really stands out to you when people go out oh my gosh i mean i everyone is is so different and dynamic but I love when people aren't afraid to get up there and sing or dance or some people tell us really awesome stories about their families or different experiences they've had traveling so everyone is different and unique that's what makes this whole experience so so great perfect yeah. and okay so let's really talk about the nuts and bolts of this if people come out what should they really have with them what should they bring well we're gonna be outdoors so wear comfortable clothes that okay. starts if you have a lucky charm bring a lucky charm if you want to bring a <laughs> sign bring a sign everyone who shows up fills out an application it is a random draw we're not going around selecting people for the show we are a game show we're legit so everyone fills out an application we put in our drum of dreams right here the drum of dreams that's, your drum of, that's where your journey starts <laughs> Mallory will pick out five names at a time I call them to the stage, and then I said, we go through that interview process. I'm going to interview our contestants and make sure they're shy. I want to make them comfortable. When you're on stage with me, your family, we want to see you succeed. Our goal is to help you get to those final auditions. So you go through the interview with me. You're going to play a speed up round. We're going to see how your game playing skills are. If you shine on stage, if you show us those qualities we talked about, you will get a letter or email sometime in the next month. That's how quick the turnaround process is. And that letter or email is your invitation to the final round of auditions with our contestant department. You do well there. You're on the show with Pat, with Vanna, with Cash, with prizes, <laughs> and you're shot at $1 million. Oh. And that's it. And that, that's our goal. Our goal here mm -hmm. this weekend is to find contestants. We're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to have a lot of energy. We're going to have gameplay. But we really, our mission in life, nothing makes us happier than seeing people get on the show and win lots of money. Well, it's going to be exciting. Marty and Mallory, thank you guys so much for yeah. coming here today. We'll check back in later with them uh, during the show, but let's give you a recap of those details for the actual event itself. You can actually audition for Wheel of Fortune tomorrow and Sunday from noon to four at Casino del Sol Alba Amphitheater. And for complete details, all you have to do is visit kagan9.com. And Tina, I think you have a very special guest in the studio with you. Back to you. I do, Alex. Thank you so much. Like you said, we will check back throughout the show with you. But I also wanted to take a moment to reflect back on when the iconic game show actually first hit our TVs here in Tucson and how that actually came about. Take a look at this special message. Hello, Jack. Wheel of Fortune would not be on K-Gun 9 if it were not for you. For decades, Tucson Wheel fans have been challenged and entertained by America's game. And we have you to thank for that. So from all of us, thank you, Jack, for bringing joy to so many and making K-Gun 9 the home for Wheel of Fortune. 
So who is this Jack that Pat and Vanna speak of? Well, it is Jack Paris, our former general manager here at Kagan, and the father of actually Pat Paris, our GMT anchor. Jack, you were laughing. You promised a surprise and yes. you did it. Oh, that was great, thank you. How did that feel uh, to get well, that Well, that was terrific. I, you know, I was general manager a long time ago, so I haven't been in the limelight for a while, so that really, Pumped up my ego a little bit. Oh, Tina, thank you. <laughs> you have a little pep in your step today. Yeah, you bet. <laughs> well, you said a long time ago, uh, Jack, but when was it that you were general manager? I was general manager from the beginning of 1983 to the beginning of 1987. Okay. I first came in 79 as station manager and program manager and then became general manager in early 83. Now, someone doesn't know, general manager, you were the head honcho uh, of this place. The CEO, yeah. Yeah, you basically ran it. So you made the decision way back then that maybe this little uh, game show called uh, Wheel of Fortune might be a thing. Uh, yeah, a little serendipity, but it was uh, it was pretty obvious it was the right thing to do at yeah. that time. Kind of tell me the story. I know there's a, an interesting story behind it. Yes, there is, Tina. Uh, we got to, We have to go back to, uh, I was working at a television station in Sioux City, Iowa in 1974. And one day uh, we bought, besides the network we carried, we bought syndicated programming. And one day this young gentleman came in, and his name was Michael King. And his father owned the rights to the Little Rascals cartoon wow. series. Remember those? Yes. So they, they were out, Roger and his brother Roger and Michael were out selling the Little Rascals. So we needed a program in the afternoon, so I bought the Little Rascals from Michael. Fast forward to 1984, I'm general manager in Tucson, Arizona, and my phone rings on the desk, and I pick it up. And it's, Michael says, hi, Jack, this is Michael King. I said, oh, hi, hi Michael, how are you? <laughs> well, in the interim, he and his brother had formed King World, and they were distributing Wheel of Fortune yeah. and Jeopardy. And so Michael said, Jack, he said, you were the first guy that ever bought anything from me. And for that, I'm going to give you a shot at Wheel of Fortune and Jeopardy. If you buy it over the phone right now, I won't even come to the market to, 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 to try to get other yeah. people to buy it. So I said... Hey, Michael, you're on. Let's go. So we bought it in 1984 over the telephone. So Wow. <laughs> well, you, Little Rascals and uh, Jeopardy and Wheel of Fortune, yes. uh, this collaboration between you and Michael was golden. Right, exactly. And then they went on, of course, to distribute Wheel of Fortune and Jeopardy, but Oprah and Dr. Phil and all that stuff, they became multi-gazillionaires, <laughs> you know, over, over those things. Multi-gazillionaires. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, and I asked you kind of before we even uh, started this interview, I was asking, did you know at that moment, you know, that it was going to end up where it is today? Tina, you know, everybody was, it was a buzz about yeah. Wheel of Fortune, Jeopardy. Everybody knew it was going to be a hit. But 34 years on yeah. the air? Are you kidding me? And no TV show has ever done that, or two TV shows have ever done that, yeah. certainly. And it's still going strong now. So. Nobody could predict that. I certainly couldn't. Well, all of us that are huge fans of Wheel of Fortune, we thank you, Jack, oh, for you. Uh, running into Michael and, yeah. and for bringing it here so many years ago. You're quite welcome. I'm oh. glad I could do it and be part of the history of K-Gun. Oh, you know what? It was an honor to sit down with yeah. you, Jack. Thank you so much. You bet. And now, as we're saying, now we have Wheel of Fortune here for the weekend. You can catch out all of your favorite K-Gun 9 personalities at the Wheel of Fortune auditions this Saturday and Sunday out at the Ava Amphitheater. I'm actually kicking it all off tomorrow at noon. That's when it starts off. For more details again, you can visit kagan9.com.